Okay, here we have a vintage Sony TC765 reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Does both seven and a half and ten inch reels. It's not working correctly, as you can tell. The reason it's been apart, and you saw this in another video. I'm having tension issues. When I first got it, it wouldn't do anything because the pinch rollers were gummed up, so they wouldn't even engage. The solenoid couldn't engage them. Sprayed them with WD-40. Just basically drowned them. Sat for several weeks on, and now the, it engages no problem. But this keeps like there's no tension to keep the tension on the tape. Get free wheels. It jerks and it shuts off. Someone said there's probably a problem with the voltage relay because the motor should be spinning clockwise. Remember, the tape is going this way, but the motor should spin clockwise to keep the tension. You know, there's a clutch on these. I'm thinking this thing here is a relay that adjusts the voltage to make the motor turn left or right. You know, clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, something's not doing that, or, just, or somebody says something about there might be a. Uh, the switch or a pot that would adjust inside here. I'm messing with the brake solenoid here because when, when you hit play or if we wind or fast forward this drops. So I'm kind of messing with that to try and at least get it to play. I can get it to play for about a minute before it loses tension again. So far sound only comes out of the left speaker. These do nothing like this is for line output and stuff like that but I think it's only for record, like line in. So I got this plugged into a pair of powered computer speakers. And adjusting adjusting this does nothing for the volume. Doesn't make it quiet, doesn't make it loud. Everything's adjusted by the speakers. This is for record. Except for the right size reel. It's threaded correctly. Those dual capstans you can see down here. Fingers in the way. These are controlled by a solenoid. These were gummed up so they wouldn't engage. Seller claimed it worked. Well, it doesn't work. And they ended up selling for $150 off the price because if I sent it back to her, she was just going to scam somebody else. Well, at least eight other people watching it. You know, I caught her out on her bullshit. I said, so what, you're going to, I send it back to you, then you're going to pawn it off and somebody else is working? Didn't try it with the tape or nothing. And it was packed with pop bottles. Really? You use pop bottles as packing, packing material. Really? Bitch. So, I finally got it to where I can get it to engage. Making progress. So, it's basically, it's a, right now it's a tension issue. Get that solved and figure out why I'm only getting audio out of the left channel and not the right. I might have to take this in and have it professionally serviced. But let's see. Hold this. You'll see. I can't keep the tension on it. So then I lose the audio too. It just shuts off. So I have to hold this. It's like the on off switch. This should be down with the tension of the tape. But it's not. So I have to hold it in play. Now it just jumped off track too. So... Now, there's an issue with the tension on this reel to keep the, tight, the tape tight against the tape heads. So, there's some adjustments to be made. Just gotta figure out how and what the problem is. So, there'll be videos on this eventually. Whether I repair it or I take it in and have it professionally serviced, we'll find out. But, it's a nice machine. This is like the, uh, think. I think this was the last real real Sony made for the consumer market. This is obviously top of the line. And the thing weighs a ton. I can't put it, I don't think my computer desk will support it. It's that heavy.
But VU meters don't work. They don't move. But making progress. We are making progress on this thing. It's going to take a while. Okay, this is weird. Started working on its own. I mean, I sprayed everything with contact cleaner. I sprayed this coil thing in the back of the supply reel motor with contact cleaner. First couple tries, again, it started to play, then shut off. Doing this a jerk. But I noticed the motor would start spinning this way on its own. Not very strongly. I mean, I could stall it by hand. Then it would slowly get back up to running. I fiddled with these adjustments over here. I assume these are for the torque. These are, I kind of rid them back and forth, put them back to the way they were when I found them. Doesn't really make a difference, but all of a sudden now it's playing. But I only get sound out of the left channel, I believe, or it might be the right, I gotta check. I can turn this all the way to the right. Turns it up that way, this PB level. Turn it that way to the left, nothing. I'm only getting sound at the left. These don't work. And fitting with those adjustments make these go brighter too. So. Still needs work. It's going to have to go in for service. Probably get a recapping on the amplifier board. But. It's playing at the right speed though. That's Hasani Miku, just in case you're wondering. Japanese pop star. So. That somewhat came back to life. Tension seems to be holding for right now. It's weird. Makes me the contact cleaner got the motor to actually play nice. Now he's got to get the audio figured out. So it needs a full tune-up. Probably needs to, probably just needs a full cleaning more than what I can give it. So got to go in for service at some point. 